Capecast. We wanted to work together as uh, as the body of Christ to to find ways to reaching out to people to let people know that we care, and not only that we care, but God cares about what they are and what their needs are. We're not pushing uh, God on anyone. People are coming to us, and we just want people to know that we care and that God loves them. We've been invited by the local churches here to just be available to pray for people in a time where we're having an economic fallout, if people need jobs, it affects relationships, it affects people in a way that they may have to move out of their home. And so we're here just being available to demonstrate in a tangible way that God loves each person and cares for them and is concerned about their welfare. And we're simply here to say, hey, can we come alongside of you and offer a prayer of blessing for you? I think it's possible that we have a separation of church and state issue. And the reason is that there, this group is on town property and they have set up a booth in order to proselytize for religion. They probably don't think they're proselytizing, but the fact of their existence with a booth I think means that they are. My concern is that if you do it for one, then you must do it for all. And if any other group now comes to the town of a religious persuasion and says, we also want to have a booth or have a table at the beach with information, there's no way that the town can deny that because they've set a precedent. And who is to decide which group is all right and which group is a problem? I don't divide the public and private as much as some people do. Um, so I have no issue. And, and there, haven't been, there hasn't been one person that I've met today or the three days I've been here that has any issues with it. And I've met people of uh, Jewish faith, people of Christian faith, people with no faith. And, you know, we're not in their faces. We ask if we can pray. Uh, that's as far as we go. And uh, we usually leave it up to them to come to the table and ask us for prayer. One of the, the questions that the board did have was, uh, you know, is this permissible? And uh, fortunately, our town council was there that evening, um, as well as our assistant town council. And we asked them for an opinion, and they said that uh, it really came down to equal opportunity, that if we were going to give... Um, any individual church or organization uh, the opportunity to do this that we should give all churches the opportunity um, and that I think resonated the strongest with me um, I can't speak for the other selectmen but in my case I I did recall that we have as a board approved um, other churches the use of our beaches um, for example the the Methodist Church was given permission to hold uh, worship services on the beach uh, four different times this summer. Um, and so if we're going to give that opportunity to them, then we can't deny it to, to this group of churches, and they're simply asking for a parking space. I think the Reverend Washburn made a very important per point that it's not freedom from religion, it's freedom of religion. And uh, a lot of folks get hung up on the first part of the First Amendment, which says that Congress shall make no law establishing um, a religion. But they forget the second part, which says, shall make no law prohibiting the, the free practice thereof. Initially, I was okay, you know, it's somebody is just having a prayer booth and, a, and a, perhaps a table and chairs for, for people, and is it a big thing? But when you do look at it, it's, it's there is it's like you're blurring of the edges of, of, of people's um, civil rights. There's a difference between people knowing somebody's religious and not having it thrust down your throat. And I think. This is another way of, um, of, of pushing it, where it doesn't need to be pushed.
I actually spoke to um, a lady who's involved with it. Just walked by here before and we were discussing the prayer station. So I think it's a good thing. Um, you have no qualms about it being a, a religious group on public public land? Absolutely none whatsoever. They weren't in anybody's face. They didn't bother us when we walked by. They were just there for people to walk up to. So I thought it was, you know, like I said, they were doing their thing and uh, they weren't they weren't harassing people or anything. So it didn't bother me. Cape Cast.